Cram. Welcome to another MedCram lecture. I want to give you a little bit of insight on CT scans of the chest. And this kind of brings up a point about high resolution. versus just a regular CT scan of the chest. When do you order one versus the other? Let's talk about that. So if there was only one type of CT scan that you could get and you were concerned that you had a lung nodule, what kind of CT scan would you get? Would you get a regular CT scan or would you get a high resolution CT scan? Let's talk about those two types of scans now. Let's pretend this is your lung Kind of looks like a Pac-Man ghost, but uh, nonetheless. And here's our little nodule right here in the lung. And you've got a choice. You can do a regular CT scan, or we can do a high-res CT scan, otherwise known as an H- R C T. Okay, so which one is going to be the best way to go? Well, first of all, we got to know about how they do these things. So a regular CT scan basically does slices, just like all CT scans do. And they put it up onto the screen. So there's basically what they do. But regular CT scans do something specifically as they take all of the data between those scans okay so all this data here gets plastered onto that film and all of this information gets plastered onto this film all of this information gets plastered onto that film and so forth and so forth and so what you get is something called volume averaging where you take the average signal in that entire space there and that image gets put onto that screen that you're seeing okay and so the point here is that every square millimeter of the lung is imaged in some way and has some sort of representation on the film below it now that's different than a high resolution ct scan here you still get cuts Okay, but these cuts don't volume average. You're actually getting the image from that area. And all of the space in between those cuts are never really imaged. And so what's the advantage of doing this? The advantage of doing this is you get a very, very detailed look at the architecture of that slice of the lung. So here we're looking for architecture. So if I'm looking for, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for fibrosis. I'm looking for emphysema. I'm looking for bronchiectasis. I'm not looking for nodules. If I were looking for nodules, I would want to go over here. And what's the reason? I just sort of demonstrated that here. You could theoretically have a nodule in between those two slices and completely miss it if it were small enough to fit in between the distance between these slices because you're getting a high resolution image, whereas here, everything gets volume average. So it's not going to be as clear. It's not going to be as distinct, but you will pick up everything. Here, it will be distinct, but you may miss stuff. You will miss stuff in between. So when do you order one versus the other? I would order a regular CT scan if you're looking for nodules or if you want to follow the size of nodules to see if they're growing. If, on the other hand, you're looking for architecture, for instance, you're looking for emphysema, you're looking for fibrosis, you're looking for bronchiectasis, you're looking for ground glass opacification, you're looking for a specific way something might look in terms of an infection or micronodular pattern, then 
you need to get a high resolution CT scan. Usually this is done without contrast. Okay, so now you know how to order your CT scans. Thanks for joining us.